Hi, Randy Johnson here with American Woodworker at the 2008 IWF show in Atlanta. And we're here at the Delta booth today, and we got a big surprise for you. It's a brand new Unisaw that Delta's just launched. For those of you who went through a wood shop when you were a kid, you probably used the Unisaw, and you probably fell in love with it. Well, Delta has totally re-engineered it with a lot of features that woodworkers are getting excited about. And Michael is going to show us today many of those cool new features. Well, Randy, thank you very much. And that was the daunting task, is taking an icon in the industry like the Unisaw that everybody learned on in their shop and rebuilding it from the ground up. And that's exactly what we've done. You can see from the front of the saw, it's a totally different saw. We've started with putting the controls right up front to make it easy for the woodworker to access everything they need to do from blade bevel to blade height, all up front and effortless controls. You can also see a totally new way in reading your blade bevel. And a scale here that you can actually trust. No more smile on the front of your saw that you can hit the, the needle and knock it out of alignment right now. You can trust this within a half a degree without any problems. All right, one of the other unique designs we've done here, I've talked about putting controls all the way up front. We've also put all the adjustability up front with a new Trunion design. We've given you the ability to, to fine adjust your zero and 45 points with this Allen screw here and this Allen screw on this side. Part of the upfront controls is again, we've given you a door in the front of the saw that gives you access inside the cabinet itself. You can see it's weather stripped to increase your dust collection, ab dust collection ability. And then right up front again, the new switch. We've increased the bracket on the back side of the switch to make it a lot more rigid and more durable for when guys need to kick their off switch in an awkward position. But we've also given it a multi-directional on-off switch and the off switch can be turned off from any direction depending on how it gets hit. It's no longer from the front anymore. Another new great added feature to this new Unisaw is a totally new direction in guarding. Come on, let's face the facts. Woodworkers always come up with excuses on why they want to remove their guard off their saw. Well, there's no excuse anymore because the number one excuse is it was always difficult to take off or put back on. Well, this new guard system, split guard in the front where you can see right where the wood and the blade engage. It's as simple as one, two, three to remove your guard. That's amazing, Michael. Can you show me how it's done? You bet. It's as simple as one, two, three to take off. One, two, three, and it's off. Now, the other big excuse for woodworkers is they always lose a component of their guard when they take it off. Well, that's no longer an excuse anymore because on this saw, we provide storage for all your necessary components. Right in here, you put your guard, any kickback paws, and you're ready to go. Hey, Michael, I noticed that what's left there now is the riving knife. I've seen that on some European machines, and I'm really excited to see it on American machines now. Yep, it's a true rise and fall riving knife. It rises and falls with the blade, which is nice and required by the user these days. But the unique thing is the fact that we have also met the user's needs where for non-through and through cuts, you use the same riving knife. All you do is adjust a tool-free adjustment, same riving knife, Pull the adjusting lever and the riving knife is now below the surface of the blade so you can do non-through cuts and leave your riving knife in place. That's a huge safety improvement to the table saw. It's going to save some fingers. That's what we're hoping. The other key advantage is in the case you do need to remove your riving knife, it's as simple again. Pull that front lever, tool free change and your riving knife is gone. As we go underneath the saw here you can see the throat plate is much bigger than it's ever been before. We're actually larger across than any other saw in the marketplace, and that's important, particularly for guys like me with big hands. You need to get down in here periodically when you drop pieces or wood gets jammed down inside the saw. This saw also comes with Arbor Lock. Simply press that button right there, grab your wrenches, and you can remove the nut. I've already loosened it up a little bit, but you also see the nut is a little bit different design. It's the nut and washer all in one piece. take the blade right off without any problems. Another unique design we've put to the new Unisaw, and it came from listening to many cabinet makers out in the field today. It's one of the things they've requested time and time again is they want more control of controlling sheet goods as it comes into the saw between the cast iron and the blade. And the new Trunion design has given us that. We've allowed ourselves with a blade as an inch and a quarter from the top of the table 15 inches from the front of the cast iron to the entry of the blade. That's several inches better than anybody else in the marketplace. 
and the cabinet shops that currently have this being tested in their shops, they love it, absolutely love it. Go ahead. Another great feature we've added to this saw is a shrouded dust collection. Requirement by woodworkers here in the last five years that everybody must have dust collection in the shop. And that's what we've done, you can see right underneath the arbor here, is we have a dust shroud. But one of the unique things that came up during our research is guys said we must have a shroud, but at the same time, they're tired of having to clean out the bottom of their cabinet separately. Well, we've answered that question by applying dust collection at the bottom of the cabinet at the exact same time you're getting collection at the blade. The only one in the market to be able to meet both those requirements at the exact same time. Randy, one of the biggest things we're most proud of about this product is actually the cast iron and where it's made. We spent quite a bit of time trying to figure out where to make this cast iron and we visited quite a few cast iron manufacturers throughout the world. We picked probably without question the best in North America, if not the world, here in the United States where we're getting all our cast iron components built to a new level of accuracy and quality that hasn't been seen before in this category of saw. And you have to do that with the mechanism that's inside here being a totally different direction than trunnions, with the dual front cranks, everything's tolerance is so much tighter to provide the absolute smooth operation. And by doing that, we can proudly say this product is made in the USA. Made in Jackson, Tennessee with a marathon motor, with a standard of industry with a Beesmeyer fence, also made in Jackson, Tennessee. So. This is what we're bringing to the market. Hopefully the users love it. Man, Michael, I got to hand it to you. All these great user features on an already great saw, and you're making it here in the U.S. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Randy Johnson with American Woodworker Magazine at IWF 2008. Stick around. There's a lot more to come.